As far back as I remember, I have been artistic even as a child. I would spend a lot of time alone drawing, uh, lots of small little doodles. I've always enjoyed drawing small circles um, over and over and just sort of these images that would allow me to kind of go into this little world. And that's back to as far as I can absolutely remember. I was also in, interested in painting and I still do painting and I do um, sometimes sewing and you know different mixed media kinds of things. But printmaking for one that community aspect, you know working in the studio you always work with other people. There's this nice interaction that occurs uh, between the different people working together in the studio. Printmakers tend to be a very you know forgiving, uh, very honest sort of type of people because I think that they're working in this community environment and that was something that I was drawn to and then also drawn to the process, the process being super labor intensive. Um, nothing is immediate. Everything takes time and process which requires you to slow down and take your time. Well actually my mind quiets down. My work tends to be pretty obsessive. My mind has a lot of sort of racing thoughts of things going on often, but when I'm working, it's kind of a form of meditation for me. So it allows me to be calm, um, to uh, sort of stop all that noise that might be in my head and really focus in on whatever it is I'm doing. So there's a peacefulness that occurs. So creating these, I have these different plates. A lot of my work is etching, which I will spend a long time working on a piece of copper, um, creating these designs. The designs are often inspired by cancer and also by invasive plants. My interest in these things are related to their deceptive quality. So something like cancer to the untrained eye can be viewed as something very beautiful. Yet, um, we know an oncologist would say that you know, there's a high chance of a significant disease or, or even death. So I like that sort of contrast that occurs there. Also things like invasive plants. Uh, kudzu is something that I'm very interested in because if I'm just driving down the car, in the car and I see that, I might think of it as being this very lush, beautiful vine, very green, um, but yet at the same time, it's suffocating everything that's in its path. So I like that kind of aspect of it, things having these double meanings. So those are the things that I look for for inspiration. So my image will be based on similar marks um, that, that are used for those sort of things. I'm really interested in that growth aspect that occurs with vines, invasive plants. In my large installations, I try to think of them as they grow. Um, I allow them to grow in the space. So I will come to the space with all of this material that I've printed in this sort of assembly line process. And then within the space, I will allow the work to sort of just grow and spread across the space. And I usually spend about a week installing those shows without a plan. Uh, it's all about the process. It's about that uh, they, they become alive in a sense and I want them to kind of grow. So my most recent installation called um, Propagation includes several thousand layers, um, all hand printed on a translucent film called Art Tex, and that film has been cut out by hand. Um, this was a process that took about three years with several assistants, so a very long time um, in this process of making. Then I'll go to the gallery and then I'll just have um, everything shipped, and then I'll be in the space, and then I have to create. <laughs> Which is always a little nerve-wracking, um, especially the first time. Uh, but it's my favorite place to be. I enjoy being in that environment, enjoying watching the work grow, and seeing what happens. Each time I go into a space, I think of it as a unique, new experience, and I want it to change. I don't want it to be the same, um, because it, I learn something every time I do it. So I have all these different etching plates. Etching is my favorite process. And it's something that I've always loved. It was one of the first processes I learned. I love it because it's very sculptural. It's still you know, two-dimensional, but it's a microscopic sculpture. So I spend a lot of time creating these plates with acid. So I will make drawings through a type of uh, 
a ground that's made out of asphalt. So I will spend days etching them, usually in the acid, to etch through the plate. So I'll have to come back and check on it, making sure I'm not corroding it in other areas I don't want to, although sometimes it happens and I accept that and go with it. And then I have these plates and I've been collecting them for several years. Probably the last six or seven years I've been making these um, plates in different shapes and sizes. So I have some that are very tiny, maybe a, you know, about the size of a quarter. And then I have some that are quite, quite large in scale. And I think of them sort of as a database that I'm using to create the work all different shapes and sizes. So then whenever I go into the studio to print, I will take out several of them and I will just start inking them in different colors and printing them. So when I print them, so I'll have inked up all these different plates and I'll have them out on the table and then I'll take a piece of paper. The prints are all at different stages, so I might work on some for a short time, but some maybe I'm working on for several months, or some I might work on, um, decide to put away and bring back maybe a year or two later and continue working on it then at that point. So I'll get paper that are at different states and uh, just start, I'll lay the paper down and I'll just kind of randomly place the, uh, the plates on the paper and run it through the press and see what happens. So I'll go through this process and then I'll, then I look at them um, and I sit back and then that's when I can be critical of them and decide, okay, is this done? You know, does this need more printing? Have I ruined it? That type of thing. Um, and I go back and forth. Every aspect of my work requires a significant amount of labor from the etching tends to be a very labor intensive process. The printing process is also very labor intensive and the hand, cu hand cutting, everything. And that labor is nice for me because it allows me to slow down. Some things I feel like are too easy. I like to kind of make things difficult <laughs> on myself because the results are slower and the results are more defined. Well, originally, I got peace out of my work, which I still do, and I get this sort of uh, visual representation of beauty as well as Beauty with this underlying edge of maybe destruction or uh, a sort of dark side. That there's this kind of edge of darkness, which I like because I feel like that's very representative of life.